Hi kiddos, it's Miss Kristen from the Livonia Public Library. Today I'm going to read The Frogs and Toads All Sang, written by Arnold Lobel, illustrated by Adrian Lobel, and published by HarperCollins Children's Books, which is a division of HarperCollins Publishers. And this book is a series of 10 small rhyming stories. The first one is called The Frogs and Toads All Sang. We're going to have a party, the frogs and toads all sang. We've got lemonade with ice cubes and paper lamps to hang. The ladies wore long dresses and the gentlemen wore pants. The orchestra was ready, so they all began to dance. They danced in the meadow, they danced in the street. They danced in the lemonade just to cool their feet. The next one is called Miss Frog Went in the Kitchen. Miss Frog went in the kitchen to bake some apple pies. The little frogs were watching with hunger in their eyes. Miss Frog went in the kitchen to make a sugar bun. The little frogs were waiting until the bun was done. But when the stuff was finished and cooling on the shelf, Miss Frog cried, go away, you kids, and ate them all herself. The next rhyme is called, I love to eat. I love to eat, a fat toad cried. I eat all day, he cried with pride. I eat and eat until it hurts, then finish up with three desserts. And when the evening darkness comes, I light the lamp and eat the crumbs. The next is Pollywog's School. Underneath the lily pads, where the mud is cool, many little Pollywogs swim their way to school. We go to class each day, said one, and all we do is wiggle. We do not read, we do not write, we only squirm and giggle. And next is Bright Green Frog. A bright green frog with slippery skin played waltzes on a violin. But while he played with skill and grace, he wore a frown upon his face. I fiddle well, he sighed, and yet I'd rather play the clarinet. The next rhyme is made for toads. A sunny day is made for toads to play and leap down dusty roads. A rainy day is made for frogs to swim in swamps and under logs. In weather gray or weather bright, for some the day will be just right. Next, there was a frog. There was a frog who had a car. He drove it fast, he drove it far. He traveled 50 days and nights and never looked at traffic lights. I learned to drive quite easily, but I never learned to stop, said he. Next is called Night. Two toads sat dozing on a rock. Said one, I think we need a clock. The other said, I do agree, a clock for you and one for me. Then when we wake and there's no light, we'll always know that it is night. And the next one is called, A Toad Was Feeling. A toad was feeling sad and grumpy because his skin was rough and lumpy. My skin is bad, said he, I'll hide it. He bought a coat and jumped inside it. And now, he said, I do not worry. Outside I'm nicely soft and furry. And the last one is called, One Summer Night. One summer night in early June, a frog looked upward to the moon. He said, I'll jump right on that thing without the use of jet or spring. He counted three, then jumped quite high and hit the moon in late July. The end. We'll see you next time, kiddos. Bye.